Ah, man. It's a great day to be alive. So, let's get into this. As we know, the better you continue to do in life, the more others who are not doing so hot is going to be mad at you. They're going to be so mad and jealous at you, they ain't even want to gonna come near you, bruh. Literally. Because you far exceeded what they could ever do or accomplish. You lived your life in the sacrifice mode. You lived life the right way. You did shit the right way. They just didn't. They just didn't do it the right way. And you know what? You can turn your shit around at any given time you want and start doing it the right way, but you better get on your P's and Q's, pal. You better. The right way, as I mentioned in the last video, is the only way. You pick a different way and you're looking at a lot of serious problems that you don't want. Only the smart with the highest IQs can see problems coming from miles and miles and miles away before they even arrive. That's how, the, how smart people get ahead. By doing the right things. By not being a pussy and just doing the work that needs to get done. And guess what? When all the other pussies did not do it and you did... They're all going to be mad and bitter and jealous at you because you've done the right shit. And it's going to show. With time, things show. These same people, when you got serious about your life, they probably all chitter-chattered, chitter-chattered about you and laughed and went on and thought you were crazy and all this kind of shit. And all of a sudden, you, you exceed what they could ever do by a fucking landslide. And now they're so mad. Oh my god. So mad. It's because you're fucking stupid, man. Literally. They don't want to believe your potential at the time. They don't want to believe what you can do, but you are a powerful person. I'm here to tell you that you are a powerful person and you can do what you want. Even these people can do what they want, but they're too stupid to actually do it. They'd rather be the jokers, sit back and laugh. They would think you're the joker, but they're the actual jokers. Sit back and laugh and ponder and watch what everybody else is doing and, whoa, what's she doing and he doing? And they're all involved with people, small minds. They're all involved with that kind of stuff, not actually focused in life doing their own stuff. They're more they're more focused on each other and what Sally and fucking Richard are doing down the road. Yeah, what are they doing today? I see them all the time and <sighs> You're all fucked in the head, man. I, I don't know what else to say. You're all really, really stupid. People like that, man, I just cannot stand to be around them. Just it's like, I just want to like, what are you doing with your life? Type speech to them. I, I don't know. Like really, what do people like that do with their lives? That sounds, just thinking about what that would be like, just gives me anxiety, just thinking about it. Like, oh my God. Could you, could you imagine living that kind of a life? That's like, the lowest of the low of an existence. It's right up there with the lowest of the lows of an existence. It just sounds so boring and stale and lame and just like you're not even budging. You're just getting ready to, you might as well go and lay down somewhere right now and just like some calf that's about to get executed. I don't know. There's a lot more to life than worrying about what Sally and Richard are doing down the street. And where they've been today. <laughs> it's time to get focused on something called your own life. Surround your mind with like-minded individuals who have that same kind of drive because anything less is just unacceptable. It's unacceptable. And like I said, 
when you're Mr. or Mrs. Smarty Pants. You see, you guys ever hear those sayings when you're younger? Oh, Mr. Smarty Pants, and people are saying things like that to you, or Mrs. Smarty Pants. It's actually fake insults is what it is. It actually is. And yeah, you actually are Mrs. Smarty Pants or Mr. Smarty Pants. They just want to shame you. That's all people like that do is shame, shame, fucking shame. It's all to bring you down. Oh, he just thinks he's so smart. Oh, she just thinks she's so smart. Probably because you are smart. Smarter than them, at least. Which is why they say things like that, because they just can't handle you to be better than them. They can't. <clears throat> and like I said, like, some people in life are better and worse than whatever. Like, you, you, you are who you are. There's nothing to do with ego. It's actually the truth. Like, some young kid that's in grade one is obviously not on my level, is obviously not on your level. It's just... I mean, can, can, can you write down your name on a piece of paper and spell it correct? Because they can barely do that. Maybe they can't even do that at that point. I actually remember spelling the place I live from in grade one on a piece of paper and spelled it right. That's pretty much all I can remember. It was like an accomplishment. But you guys get the point. People are smarter. People are better than others. It's just facts. Cristiano Ronaldo is way better at soccer than I am or ever will be. I don't give a fuck. If I devoted the rest of my life to soccer, I would not reach his level. Wouldn't. Guaranteed I wouldn't. There's nothing wrong with just telling the truth. What is wrong with that? What is wrong with me saying I'm more intelligent than a first grader? What is wrong with me saying Cristiano Ronaldo is better at soccer than me? There's nothing wrong. It's just the truth. But a lot of people can't handle the truth today. A lot of people want to believe we're all equal. Oh, we're all just human beings. We're all just trying to do our best. And oh, we shall just be accepted the same. We're all the same. Just because you're this is, it doesn't mean you're not. It's just, man, like, I don't see life that way. I just don't. That's a boring, stale life of just stagnance. That's what that is. It's just ridiculous. Like, the world has become so weak and watered down and just pussyish. Like, do you think people had that mentality when there was fucking saber two tigers chasing us around? It's his long fucking teeth sticking out of its face. No. No. And it's honestly how the world should be. We. Sh we should be a lot tougher as a whole when we generalize the world than we are today. A lot. It's pathetic, honestly. It's pathetic. And when you're the person that just keeps living kind of like traditionally, like just doing shit the right way, when everybody else is lost and fucking pondering and their minds are scrambled and they're all mad at everybody else who succeeds because they can't because they're too fucking stupid. Like, it's really not that hard. It's really not that hard. All you gotta do is do the right things. Consistently. Every day. It's really not that hard. Hey guys, it's really not that hard. But you can't even do the right things because you want to live in your little weak piss worm life. Let me smoke my vape. Let me let me grab something that just makes me feel good temporarily. Dopamine, dopamine, dopamine. Come on, man. Come on, man. Have you even earned dopamine? 
Have you even earned that? But nobody want to talk about that. Oh, someone's offended now. Oh my God, your poor feelings. <clears throat> it just baffles my mind. I really don't even know what to say. Like, and you wonder why you piss people off the better you continue to do because almost no one is just on that path. Way more people are not on that path than are on that path of self-improvement. If you watch my channel at all, you're definitely into self-improvement. Because you're not going to listen to what I'm saying if you're not. You're just not. You're, you're probably that person that's offended. People who listen and tune into my channel are into self-improvement. As for the other weasels, they couldn't possibly listen to what I'm saying. It's, oh, it hurts. It hurts. It hurts. It's because you're, you have, like, no strength. That's why it hurts. But people who are into self-improvement can hack to hear these types of things that are just the truth. Because they're looking to get better. There's enough time to get better in the run of a day. There's enough time to have some fun. There's enough time to do a little bit of whatever the hell you want to do and still self-improve. Like, why does everyone's day have to be consumed of, like, dopamine and just doing whatever? Oh, I, I finished work. I had the rest of the day off. I did enough today. I just did enough. Just enough. You can do more than that, motherfucker. You can do a lot more than that. Your day at work to me is literally like me walking to take a piss in the middle of the night and to go back to sleep. <clears throat> you can do more than that. But people just want to do enough. And then it's... This time, it's time for a hot bath and bubbles. It's the evening. Someone come bring me my hot chocolate with marshmallows in it. I could see if you work yourself to that point and you can enjoy yourself, sure. But you don't just, you don't just, you don't just get shit like that, bro. You don't just do shit like that just because... You worked a six hour shift or some shit like that. And you're not ahead in life. People who celebrate, people who might smoke a cigar or something like this, have a drink of tequila, have a drink of something. You should be up there. You should be up there in the world. You should be a top percenter if you want to start doing shit like that. But until then, you better get the fuck on your grind and you better not let me catch you sipping on something like a cup of hot chocolate with some, with some uh, tiny marshmallows in it, having a hot bath. Don't let me, don't let me catch you doing that, bro. You better become a top percenter first. This is all I'm saying. People feel privileged to enjoy their life. Enjoy. The only fucking reason why you can even enjoy your life quite possibly is because your parents probably slaved their asses off to bring you into this world, to provide that kind of a life for you in comfort. Now you feel you just deserve it. From all your ancestors sacrificed, they're looking at you in a privileged hot bath with probably some golden shit hanging off it or something like that and you're sipping some hot chocolate and you haven't even done the work yet like man come on this is what your ancestors sacrificed for it's a shame it's a shame and it's People like that, they're going to hate people like you who self-improve. 
For those of you guys that self-improve, it's people like that that's going to hate on you. Because those people feel entitled to that kind of stuff all the time. It's not like you just do it once, twice, three times maybe. It's like all the time, that's literally all they do. Entitlement. And they get mad and jealous because you get so far ahead in life. And you just continue to keep rising and grinding and doing your shit. Building yourself up the right way. All while they're digging their digging their pits quick. With a fucking with a shovel and a pick. They're just digging their way down. And you're just rising up, 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 up. Sacrifice and sacrifice and sacrifice and developing character. Doing things that build character. And they're characterless. Entitled. Think they deserve all this comfort and, and all this kind of stuff. They haven't done anything. That's just not the mentality you want to have. People like that... It's not where it's at, bro. I am telling you, it's not where it's at. There's something very magical about the sacrifice, the grind. There's something very magical about it that I can't even explain. It's almost like it's your duty to God to put it in. It is your duty. Without that, you're not going to feel... You don't want to die. You don't want to be on your deathbed. And you just kind of just did enough to get by in life. And you live your most comfortable as bestest, most sipping hot chocolate type of smoking vape type of life. That's not it. That's not it. It's a lot different when you put it in, you put it in the ground, you put it in the sacrifice. You might want to enjoy yourself here and there at that point. I don't know. But it's a lot different. Because it's like you really did something and built something. That just put cherries on top for you and it's just... It's that internal feeling where you don't feel guilty. These people do feel guilty. These people do feel those types of ways because deep down they know who they are. Deep down they know they didn't really do what they should have done. That's not the feeling you want. You want to feel like a winner. You want to feel like you've done the right shit. You don't want to feel the opposite. You want to feel like you've done the right things. Other than that, it's just a shit show. Like, even when I was younger, I always knew in my mind and in my heart and in my soul, I was going to do something massive. Massive. And it's just day by day by day by day. Week by week, month by month, year by year. It's a continuation of just continuing on, continuing on, continuing on. And there's something so fulfilling about it. Knowing that you're doing the right things. You couldn't ask for more. You are beating people from pillar to post that think they deserve vacations and all this shit when they're just half-assing life. You're beating them pillar to post. Your mindset is elite compared to theirs. Your state of mind, your mental state, your physical state, every kind of state you can possibly fathom in your mind is far superior to all those types of people. And it's not a competition with other people. It's just that it is because there's different realities to life. You want to live your best life. It's all about living your best life. It's not about, yeah, we're better than that. It's not about that. It's about you living your best life and not messing it up like a lot of other people do. It's about you putting it in. And you know what? Honestly, this conversation is more for the guys. We're not going to take it so hard on the women. We're not, even though women are probably tuning in and listening to this. But as a man, this is very, very important for you to know. There's something so rewarding and fulfilling about it that it's unexplainable. It's, it's from God is what it is. You're really doing the right things. You're not cutting corners. You're cutting the tree right at the tick. 
you're cutting those trees all the way down. You're not just chopping a few, a few chops and the tree's still standing. You're chopping right fucking through to the tick, to the core. So, it's the way it's got to be. If you want to feel your best, this is the way it's got to be. You cannot let silly shit slow you down. And when you don't, you're going to get a lot of haters. Because they know deep down inside, to their core, that you are doing the right things and they're not. They're not measuring up to what you are. They're not measuring up to your work ethic, to your, to your anything really. And it's not your fault that you're developing these haters. It's going to happen and it's a good thing. You're going to be very respected. Even your haters respect you. They just, they, they, it's like envy. It's like jealousy. It's, they know what you are. It's like, ah, uh, that's how they feel because you're doing the right shit. This couldn't be a realer conversation right now. This is really what it is. And you don't want to be that person feeling that kind of a way. Because those are people that are not putting it in. Clearly. Those are people that are not on the right path. Clearly. You want to be the person putting it in on the right path. 100% sure you're doing the right shit. Even if you're not on your path on purpose, you just know you're doing the right things right now as you stand. That's all that matters. And you never give up and you continue to go at it. That's what matters. So keep pissing people off. You keep pissing people off because you keep doing good. And that's all it is. So why not keep doing good? It's the only way. The right way is the only way. It is the only way. So do that.